Hey guys, it's Phaedra from allthingsphaedra.com and I'm cruising along in the 2019 Honda Pilot. It's my first Honda review. Are you excited? I'm actually rolling through the hills of West Virginia as I speak. Coming back from a big family adventure, exploring all the wilds of West Virginia because that's what you do when you have a big family car. So, I'm gonna clean up the bug splatter. I'm gonna take all of our snacks and drinks out of the vehicle, all of our cargo in the back, and we did bring a lot for a two night trip, and I'm gonna show you all the ins and outs of the brand new Honda Pilot. And just like that, the car is clean, and I'm back in my own little slice of suburban heaven. And what better place to talk about a family vehicle like the Honda Pilot than right here in suburbia? Before we do that, I want to share with you that one of the best ways to figure out the ins and outs of a car is to take it in the hills of West Virginia. Take a quick look at some of my driving and some of the gorgeous scenery that we saw while traveling throughout the entire state of West Virginia. I got a chance to check out the engine, to check out the drive modes, to check out the gas mileage, to check out the comfort, so many things. And I don't know how it is in your part of the country, but I feel like we went from summer to winter very quickly. It's very cold outside. So let's start on the inside of the car and I'm gonna show you all the things that I fell in love with on the 2019 Honda Pilot. First of all, let's talk about how gorgeous this dash is. You can see the polished black, throughout the entire dash, and I love this new display audio. So what's new here? We've got Android Auto, we've got Apple CarPlay, we've got all sorts of options here. I haven't driven the Honda Pilot before, but the fact that it has a volume knob is, I guess, an upgrade. So if you were missing that on a previous version of your Honda Pilot, you've got one here. You also have the AT&T hotspot that you can use for Wi-Fi in the vehicle. Let's stick with connectivity and let me show you a couple things that we have here. So we've got the standard climate control and I'll talk about all these goodies in a minute. But down here, this is actually where you place the DVD for your backseat passenger. So this does have a, an entertainment system built in and it's controlled from up front. That makes so much sense. But down here, we've got your 12 volt power outlet and you've got your USB. Now this is what you will use if you want to activate your Apple CarPlay or your Android Auto. If you haven't used Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, it's really, really complicated. You just plug in your phone and there you go. You go right on up to the dash. In my case, it's going to be Apple CarPlay. And what you're going to see are the apps that have been approved to show while you're driving. Now, I have been resistant to Apple CarPlay until now. Look! You can use Google Maps, which is what I prefer to use. So, I used this for the entire trip, and I absolutely loved it. Speaking of technology though, let's talk about my gorgeous iPhone. Look at that gorgeous kid right there. He's mine. And he is the screensaver for my new Apple iPhone XS. What I like about this phone is it has wireless charging as do a lot of Android phones. And look at this area right here that looks convenient for you to rest your phone. That's exactly what I'm gonna do, but watch what happens. It comes to life because it's got wireless charging built in. So I get in the car, I throw my phone there, I don't need to touch it, and it's automatically charging. Amazing. While we're here, you're probably looking at this shifter, thinking like, wait, where is the shift knob? How am I supposed to get used to this? It is an adjustment, but it's a very quick adjustment. So to put it in reverse, you simply pull it back. To put it in drive, you simply press the button. And to put it in park, you press the parking button. That's not so hard, is it? Let's stay right here for a second. So we talked about this charging area. We talked about the shifter. Now we're gonna go to this gorgeous center console. I don't even know what this material is made of, but it's soft and it's textured and I love it. And look at all that space in there. 
Okay, this is, we all know this is a family car, and families need places to put junk, to put stuff, to put a purse. Seriously, you could pull this out, stick a purse down in there, and then, as you might expect, you have even more connectivity. You have a USB port here, and a 12 volt port, and I will tell you on our car trip, we use them all. The last thing I'm going to talk about while we're up front is climate control. So you have the ability to turn on the rear to control the rear settings from up here or you can turn it off if you want. And then, oh, the seats, the seats. In fact, um, it's a little warm right now, so I might have to turn that off. But we do have heated seats and we do have cooled seats and my frozen fingers in the cool weather absolutely loves this feature right here, the heated steering wheel. So even if I don't want the cabin warm, it is so nice to have this heated steering wheel. So I absolutely love that. And there are a couple other things that we're going to talk about as it relates to driving, but let's check out the back seat before we do that. Welcome to the second row. Now, if you are looking for a family car, if you're looking for a minivan, but you just can't do a minivan that's okay because i love this it has very much a minivan feel you've got bucket seats back here although you can have it configured as a bench seat if you'd like we have a nice flat surface for your snacks your games your whatever you want and lots of connectivity back here with your headset jacks your hdmi cable you have got a power outlet you've got charging usb ports and you've got climate control back here so it does come with headsets and remote, and that is going to be for this entertainment system up here, which we did not use at all because we are in the age of iPads and iPhones and everything else. The great thing that this model has is cabin talk. What that means is that if your kid is happily listening to movies or watching a show on this entertainment system and they can't hear a word you're saying and you're trying to get them to listen, then you can use cabin talk, which basically pauses their entertainment so that mom or dad can actually say something and be heard for once. Oh, and you know how I'm a little obsessed over cup holders and compartments? We'll take a look over here. Compartments and cup holders! They're everywhere! Oh, and if you have the sunshy babies or small children, you can get these sunshades built into the vehicle. From a driving perspective, I found it a little hard to turn around and take a look at oncoming vehicles, but you have the option to put them up or down. Okay, you ready? We're going to go into the way back. Let's do it. With the seats folded flat, you have a very nice area of cargo space. It's actually very long, but this bedding area is kind of high. You haven't lost all that space though, because under here you've got additional storage, storage space. And look at that, look at that. I just figured that out just now. You know how I figured it out? That little diagram right there. Thanks, Honda. That's kind of cool. Oh, so we have this, so if you want deep storage, you have it, but if you want it flat to lay something in the cargo bed, you can do that too. That is really clever, I like that. Okay, you also have compartments back here. We did use this on our way back. We've got power outlets here, and we have another little compartment here. With the seats up, let's see how this would work. So you still have a good amount of space back here. That could definitely do a Costco run, or at least a grocery run. But if you're on your way to the airport, you could lower that platform and you could easily put some upright rollers in the back. Okay, something's different, right? Yep, I switched sides on you. So we're gonna test out how easy it is to access the third row. It says one touch. Well, I would have to agree. That is actually very easy and very spacious for getting in. Okay, now what do I hold on to? Oh, here we go. We've got the handle right here that we can hold on to. Look at that beautiful sky we happen to catch. All right, I'm in the back seat. 
You don't have deep leg room here, but you have adequate leg room. Let's see how it is when we put the seat back. All right, the seat is all the way back, and I am actually sitting very comfortably. I have room in front of my knees. Ladies and gentlemen, this is more room than you get on an airplane seat, if I'm being honest. And I could say, move your seat forward if I needed more space. So I'm actually quite comfortable back here. You get plenty of compartments and cup holders and air conditioning and heating vents. So that's all very good. And then when it's time to get out, you don't have to say, hey, you forgot to let me out because guess what? I've got a button right here and I can let myself out. The last thing I wanna talk about in the interior are these seats and then we'll get to the important thing which is the driving. So the other thing I love about these leather appointed seats is they all have armrests that are adjustable. I'm not even kidding, look at that. I can raise it up and lower it all the way back down. And if you get the bucket seats in the second row, they've got the same thing. I mean, who's gonna complain in this car? Okay, it's time to head outside the vehicle. Take a look at the outside of the 2019 Honda Pilot Elite all-wheel drive and you tell me what you think. What you're looking at is the 2019 Honda Pilot Elite, which is a pretty high level trim package. And this is also an all wheel drive right here. The color is considered sapphire steel. I think I've got that right. And you saw the gray leather interior. You're also looking at 20 inch alloy wheels. It's got a panoramic roof. If I didn't show you from the inside, Let's see if I can show you from the outside, it goes in the driver's side and also along the passenger side. It blends in very nicely and what you'll notice is it is a bolder sleeker design and my first thought when I got in the vehicle was wow this is huge. I just wasn't expecting it to be so big and after a week in it man I got this. It's not that big. I actually loved driving it. I'm gonna be sad to see it go back that doesn't mean it's a perfect vehicle. It's pretty close to perfect, but there are a couple things that I want you to know about before I give you the price and we say farewell. So what did I love about the Honda Pilot? What did I not love? Well, I can tell you it was a very comfortable car to drive and I was a little bit worried about the gas mileage. So the fuel economy is placed at 19 city, 26 highway, which is a little, low for my taste, but it is a big vehicle, an average of 22 miles per gallon. It is a V6 engine with variable cylinder timing, and it was nothing that I noticed during the drive. It does have the stop start, which was okay, and I think uh, helps out with gas mileage. Now, here's what I wanna tell you about the driving. It has three modes. It has the eco mode, it has the regular mode, and it has the sport mode. And I am not an eco girl. I normally never touch that. But as I was driving through the mountains and I was averaging 22 miles per gallon, I thought this is not gonna work for me. So I put on the eco mode, the fuel economy increased to at least 24 miles per gallon. And the best part is that the performance didn't suffer. I was really surprised at how well it performed in the mountains with all the hills and valleys and everything else. So very good. Put it in sport mode, it's got incredible pickups. So from a driving experience, it was terrific. So I prefer lower gas mileage vehicles, but for this size, I think that you can get pretty good fuel economy, especially if you take advantage of that eco button. Now, the other thing I said I loved inside was the wireless charging for my phone, which is great. And I also love the Apple CarPlay. What I found is you don't want to use them both at the same time because I had something sort of a little flaky. And I think it's because, not because of the car, but because I think my phone got overheated. So I think charging from the car while placing it on the, chi the, the wireless charging pad, it was just a little too much for it. So you'll want to keep that in mind if you're plugging in for the Apple CarPlay, but you still want to use the wireless charging. Now, all of that said, I can't really find many negative things to say about this car. It was a great car for a family trip. It seated a family of three comfortably, but clearly you could fit a lot more in. So let's talk about price. So as configured, it's a 
seven passenger vehicle. You might be stretching it to put three in the back, but you definitely could. You could configure it with bench seating in the second row and make it a, a true eight passenger vehicle, which is what a lot of big families are looking for. So the MSRP on the Elite, now keep in mind that this has a lot of interior, exterior packages, safety features, technical features, all of which I'll put in more detail on allthingsphaedra.com. But the MSRP is $48,020 comes with a full tank of fuel, no charge. And after destination and handling, the MSRP on this vehicle, as you see behind me, $49,015. So, um, you know, I'd like to say that's a lot, but I think for what you're getting, it's right on par with a lot of the other vehicles out there. It's a really solid ride, really comfortable to drive, really easy to handle. So. I say if you are looking for a good vehicle that is not a huge utility vehicle, but you want a fair amount of cargo space, but you still want family capability and you don't want that minivan, you should definitely check out the 2019 Honda Pilot. I'm sorry to see it go. Hey, tell me what you think about the Honda Pilot and leave me a comment. I love to read them and I respond to all of them. And while you're at it, why don't you give me a like and subscribe to my channel because I've got more videos just like this coming your way.